In Christianity, Saint Spiridon is revered as much as Saint Nicholas. During his life as a shepherd and monk, he led a simple and modest life, didn't speak or eat much. Spiridon is known as the walking saint because he used to travel a lot. For his numerous miraculous deeds, the saint also got the name Wonder Worker. Spiridon, born into a line of shepherds, embraced the family trade, much like King David and the prophets did. He married and had a child named Irene, but his wife died early in their marriage. As a single parent, Spiridon not only earned a living and raised his child, but also found the time to help others in need. As he grew in the love of God and man, God gave him the gift of healing the sick. Spiridon dedicated his entire life to God and caught the attention of the faithful on mainland Greece. He entered a monastery and his daughter a convent. Eventually, he became Bishop of Tremethus in the district of Larnaca, Cyprus during the reign of Constantine the Great. Despite his new position, Spiridon remained humble. He carried on with his lifestyle and wore the same clothes and the same hat made with braided palm leaves. He walked everywhere, helping locals with their farming and tending his flock. A large number of legends about his life were early in circulation. Once, some robbers attempted to steal his sheep. As soon as they entered the farm, an invisible force tied their hands miraculously behind their backs and immobilized them. In the morning, Spiridon found them. Embarrassed, they admitted what they had done and what had happened to them. Spiridon freed them and admonished them and gave them two rams for the effort of vigilance as he told them. A tradition relates the incident at the Council of Nicaea, which was a crucial meeting convened at the request of the Emperor Constantine. The purpose was to resolve the issues which were so divisive in that era among various church factions. At the meeting, Saint Spiridon, being theologically uninstructed, wanted to prove the existence of the Holy Trinity. Christian Family TV is made possible by your generosity. Because of your donation today, we were able to create more than 200 plus wonderful stories on saints, stories of faith, and many other interesting videos to teach our kids. Yes, you are making a difference. We could not do what we do without you. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with, or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He smile on you and be gracious to you. Thank you, and God bless you. He wanted to illustrate how one single entity, like a piece of pottery, could be composed of three unique entities. He took a brick in his hand and squeezed it. At that, instant fire shot up from it. Water dripped on the ground and only dust remained in the hands of the wonder worker. There was only one brick, Saint Spiridon said, but it was composed of three elements. In the Holy Trinity, there are three persons, but only one God. In his simple language, Saint Spiridon explained the analogy of the Holy Trinity to the delegated bishops. At this council, 
St. Spiridon met St. Nicholas, with whom he formed a lasting friendship. Their lives formed a parallel which comes down to us as a glorious part of the rich heritage of Christianity. When drought hit Cyprus, the saint with his prayers brought rain. Some people were trying to take advantage of the situation and had stored large quantities of wheat to sell them at an inflated price. The prayers of the saint demolished their barns. He then distributed the wheat among the people. Always ready to help people in need, the saint went to free a man who was facing a death sentence. A woman sought his help and requested that he resurrect her child, who was lying lifeless in her arms. The saint prayed, and the infant was restored to life. The mother, overcome with joy, collapsed. Through the prayers of the saint, the mother was also restored to life. Saint Spiridon is considered one of the most miraculous saints of the church. He died in Tremethos, where he was buried in 348 AD. Later, his body was exhumed and taken to Constantinople. On exhumation, the body, although having been buried for 300 years, was well preserved and gave out a distinct aroma of basil, the king of herbs, both considered signs of saints or incorruptibles. So many miracles were attributed to his intercessions before the throne of God that his shrine has become a place of pilgrimage. <laughs>